For those of us who are serving our country in any branch of the military, family life can be anything but routine. Military families often move from place to place every few years, having to readjust to new environments. And for the children of these patriotic families, it can be especially challenging to endure the absence of a parent deployed overseas and to constantly change schools and leave friends behind. Well, this morning we're here today to honor the sacrifices these children of military families make. Here with me this morning, and I'm overjoyed, is Jim Knotts, President and CEO of Operation Homefront, and this year's recipient of the Military Child of the Year Award, Nicole Daly. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for being here, Jim. It's our pleasure. Congratulations. Thank you. How did it feel to, to be the winner? It was such an honor to be chosen out of all these obviously deserving military children such a humbling experience to win this award through Operation Home Friend. It's just been truly unforgettable. And we're going to talk about why you won because you truly are an amazing young lady. How old are you? I'm 17. And you're gorgeous, by the way, I must add. Jim, let me ask you this. Operation Home Front, tell me about the organization and how it all got started. Well, Operation Home Front is a nonprofit and we support military families with emergency financial and other kinds of assistance. It was started actually by a couple of military spouses shortly after the attacks of September 11th in 2001, okay. where the first major deployments began and the spouses wanted to be able to support one another while our service members were in harm's way. And that's really been our focus from the beginning. And you obviously focused on the children who, like I said, endure so much when the families are deployed or the father or mother leaves and they're moving. How many, how many cities have you lived in, Nicole? I've lived in nine places. Not, and she's only 17 years old. It's a tough life. So you came up with the Military Child of the Year Award. Tell me about that. Well, this award recognizes our youngest patriots. You know, in an all-voluntary military, our service members and even the spouses volunteer to be part of a military lifestyle. But our kids are born into it. Sure. And there are lots of challenges, but from those challenges are really born great strength and leadership. Our military kids are our leaders of tomorrow. And Nicole is a great example of that. She's one of the best of the best. She's very special. And I know you had a special evening because there was a gala event. I heard there you was. looked spectacular. And it was on your birthday that you got the award? It was. Oh, so tell me about it. Well, General Dempsey, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, actually sang happy birthday to me. <laughs> My gosh. That was kind of the cherry on top, but it was just such an incredible honor to spend time with the other awardees also. Just an amazing group of children, and I'm so thankful and grateful just to represent the Army and also to have had this experience. So. Why did she win? Well, out of all of those challenges, are born great strength and leadership. And those are the characteristics we recognize with our military children. Nicole is a perfect example. She has been a leader in her schools. She is a leader in her family and her community through volunteerism. And on top of all of that, she has a 4.7 GPA. And I have to repeat it, 4.7 GPA, honor society. You know, I have to ask you this because 17, Tough teenage years, everybody knows. I remember what it was like to be 17, lots of pressure. A and your pressure is even more than maybe the child that never moves from one city to another. How many high schools have you attended already? This is my third high school and I'm a junior. So. Three high schools already. How do you do it? You know, growing up in a military family, and I think all my military children would attest to this, you see the great sacrifices by our service members and their families. and. I just don't want to take that for granted at all, and I, I want to take advantage of the freedoms we have in this country. It's really so rare. Living overseas, I've seen that has been the case. Sometimes it takes from the outside in for people to realize how lucky we as Americans are, and every day I try to strive and just not take that for granted. So Your father must be very, very proud. I know he is serving overseas. Can you tell me where he is today? Well, he's actually home right now, but he's going to be going to Afghanistan soon. Well, you thank him for serving our country. Well, and thank you for being who you are. God bless thank you. you. She thank you. She will be so a great much. leader in this country. Absolutely. Thank, thank you for what you do, Jim. Thank you. And to learn more about Operation Homefront and how you can help families of service personnel, just go to the website, a great website, operationhomefront.net. That's operationhomefront.net.